Hey everyone, welcome back. So I want to talk to you guys about Course Scientific. They actually provided their December numbers, which was unusual because they're not a public company yet, but they are going through a SPAC merger with uh, XPDI, I believe. We'll take a look at that, but we'll look, let's take a look at the numbers here. We'll look at some of the PowerPoint presentations that they have. Uh, we'll look at some of the patents that they have also. Um, and we'll just take a look at them, see, what, see what's going on with them. Um, so here we go. As always, guys, this is for entertainment purposes, not financial advice. Do your own research. Don't fall for scams and spam posts get reported and deleted. All right, so here's the story. So Core Scientific announces December updates. Um, they have minted 1,044 Bitcoins in December, which is basically double what Mara and Riot has done combined. So that is huge. So that right now, they're basically one of the biggest uh, miners that I cover or I'm not actually covering them yet because I don't have all the data on them as far as how many miners they have at what hash rate, when new miners are getting installed. We don't have a lot of news on them, but we do know as uh, we know what they currently have as far as hash rate and how many miners they have. So we can look at the numbers, what we basically have right now. Um, and they are also holding right now about 5,296 Bitcoins as of year end of 2021. So Let's take a look at the numbers here. So December Bitcoin update, Core Scientific minted 1,044 Bitcoins. Uh, December, 2,498 Bitcoins in the fourth quarter and 5,769 Bitcoins in the full year. So obviously huge numbers. This puts them in line with, I believe like Mara. Uh, Mara has almost 8,000 bit. Who was it? Hut 8 has almost 5,000 and then Riot is pretty close to that as well. Um, so this represents a year over year over increase of 313%, uh, 235 and 350% respectively. The company held 5,296 Bitcoins at the end of the year. At the year end, Core Scientific operated a fleet of approximately 67,000 state-of-the-art A6 for its own account, which represents 6.6 exahash uh, for the miners. The company has contracted for delivery of more than 100,000 USA miners in 2022. So that'll get them up to 167,000 combined right now. Mara is going to be at 199,000. They're going to be at 2. Point, uh, was it 2.33 exahash, I believe. So they're going to be behind Mara towards the end of the year, unless they actually provide that they're getting more miners in later on this year or sometime. But right now, right now they're the leader. But going into 2022, at the end of 2022, what they've reported is that they're not going to be the leader uh, much longer. But they also have a lot of hosting. So as of December 31st, Core Scientific provided infrastructure, technology, and operating support for a diverse group of customers operating more than 80,000 ASICs, which represents 6.9 exahash of Bitcoin network. Sorry guys, I had to clear my throat here. Uh, so combined, they got 6.9 and 6.6. .6, so they are at 13.5 exahash uh, network right now, which if we look at the, I think Bitcoin's hash rate right now is around 178. So 178 divided by, let me take a look at it here on my calculator. Uh, they got 13.5 exahash divided by 178. They basically own 7.5% of the total Bitcoin network hash rate right now, which is huge. Um, the company entered into agreements with customers to provide approximately 430 megawatts of additional hosting capacity in 2022. So this is going to be interesting to see how much they actually make from their hosting um, compared to what they are actually mining. Um, and hopefully they provide a lot more data as far as how many miners they have, uh, hash rate of each one, um, how many customers they have, what they're making from the customers, things like that. So once they go uh, public with the SPAC, maybe we'll get some more data on that so we can possibly then do some number analysis on them. But right now it's just tough to figure out when, what is coming in, how, man, how much of the miners are coming in, uh, uh, how much they're making off the customers. So as of right now, I'm gonna hold off on doing a deep dive on them until I get some more information from them, possibly towards the end, you know, maybe this quarter sometime we'll get some more info. But for right now, they are huge and they are uh, gonna be one of the biggest ones here, even though Mara right now is gonna be beating them at the end of 2022 with the hash rate for their own mining. Uh, but if you combine, obviously, the mining for themselves and for their customers, they are going to be obviously bigger than Mara. One of the things they can do eventually is 
um, stop doing the hosting and just go completely into their own uh, Bitcoin mining if they wanted to choose that route, which would obviously yield in higher uh, returns and they would obviously have the capacity to do that as well. So that's something that might be a possibility going down the, down the road here. Uh, let's see here. Here it is. So as announced on July 21, 2021, Core Scientific entered into a definitive merger agreement with Power and Digital Infrastructure Acquisition Corp. XPDI, a special purpose acquisition company pursuant to which Core Scientific and XPDI will combine. Core Scientific will become a publicly listed company upon the closing of the business combination, which is conditioned on, among other things, the approval of Core Scientific and XPDI stockholders and the satisfaction of other customary closing conditions. So don't know when that's going to happen yet. Uh, we'll see if we can find some information on that. Um, other interesting part here is, I think, the, the, here it is, yep. As of September 30th, 2021, over 50% of the power used in Core Scientific's operation was generated from non-carbon emitting sources by local power providing providers pursuant to local term, long-term power contracts. The company determines whether power is generating from non-emitting, non-emitting energy sources from dispatch reports or grid generation mix reports provided by the company's power providers. That's a mouthful. Based on these reports, Core Scientific purchased Green East... Uh, Green E certifi- Certified Renewable Energy Credits, RECs, to offset 100% of its carbon consumption. The company expects to maintain its 100% net carbon neutrality by increasing its overall use of renewable power and by purchasing RECs when necessary. Okay, so they're not completely or in the higher part, higher end of the um, green energy part movement, right? You're seeing a lot of, um, what is it, uh, ESG, uh, Environmental S- uh, Safety and Governance movement in the space. Um, so they're not there yet, but they are buying the offsets. So that's at least a good thing there. Uh, okay, let's take a look at their PowerPoint here. And then, well, actually we'll look at XPDI. So XPDI right now is trading at $10.10. It is valued at $435 million. Based on this, I think this is obviously incorrect. Well, based on how much they're mining, they should be a lot higher, but this is basically pre-merger still. So we'll see when we actually get a Merger deal going, that is probably going to go up a lot higher. I'm guessing they're going to be probably valued around maybe $4 billion, $4 to $5 billion, somewhere around there, I'm guessing. I haven't done all the math on it yet, but just based on what they are mining right now. Um, let's take a look at their... There it is, presentation. So here's a presentation. This is obviously old. This is from October 19th, 2021, so about three months old. Let's see here. Disclaimer, today's agenda... Secure in the blockchain ecosystem. We got their experience leadership team, which they have experience. Um, why core scientific market leader, full spectrum track record team, IP, our network, third quarter results, market leading results. So they mined 1,588 Bitcoins self mine, uh, 2,816 Bitcoins held. So they were at 2.64x a hash self mining hash rate. So they obviously uh, almost tripled that since they're at six point. What is it, 6, 6.6, they said. Uh, and then hosting hash rate has obviously increased as well by 2.2x a hash, roughly. Uh, approximately 150 full-time employees. Let's see, what else do they have? They got infrastructure going in here. So existing sites in operation include Kentucky, North Carolina, Georgia, and new development sites include Texas and North Dakota. Uh, strong IP protect, uh, portfolio, 71 patents. Uh, proprietary facility designs. Um, yeah, they're going with different airflows here on uh, mixing airflows and things like that. Proprietary, proprietary technology, Minder, uh, fleet management software to optimize performance and uptime. Uh, scaling our data centers, dedicated construction. Let's see here, what else do we have? Uh, we design our data centers to deliver maximum uptime, airflow and heat evacuation, optimize costs, maintain thermal balance, continuously improve and evaluate uh, alternative technologies, i.e. e.g. immersion cooling. So that would be kind of cool to see them get into that as well, into immersion cooling. Uh, what else do we have here? Minder network services, digital asset yield generation, Minder supporting our competitive advantage with our proprietary fleet management software, so highly scalable Minder software. And Incident response through software solutions before escalating to manual diagnosis, track monitor, relogs, and configure all aspects of machines across data centers in real time. Um, fully integrated and automated workflow management, including ticketing and reporting. Um, all good. Make informed business decisions by tracking and flagging machines. 
This is all good. Obviously, you need a software for that. And a lot of the miners have access through APIs and through Python calls to get the information from the miners. So you can get all that information. You just need a database for it all. Yeah, so I've done this with uh, one of the, with one of the uh, small farms that I manage for a friend of mine. So not a big deal there. That's good to see, though. Delivering industry, leading operational availability, high minor operating percentage, high network uptime to hash pool, uh, hash rate 7x hash and growing, deploying velocity of 1,000 units per day, which is, that's pretty good, actually. That's really good. Um, getting 1,000 units per day installed, that's, that's a lot. Um, dedicated minor maintenance and repair. So they do have, obviously, experts in application-specific integrated circuits, um, operation and repair, 24-7 on-site support at all facilities. Uh, certified repair techs at every site, so that's good as well. Uh, Experience Data Center Operation Management, so Hewlett Packard, uh, Equinox, Just Controls. Facility Tour, let's see if we're going to get anything from the Facility Tour. Uh, mining and hosting are logistical, logistically similar. Yeah, procure miners retained for self-mining, sold for third parties hosting. Miners shipped to Core Scientific, miners deployed in Core Scientific Data Centers, Bitcoin held by Core Scientific, and uh, Bitcoin for customers' accounts. Okay, good. Now we're getting into the scaling the business and delivering results. So this is 2021 revenue. They're estimating 493 million. This was based on obviously back in October. Total hash rate 11. This is with uh, that they're estimating. So they're at right now, what was it? Six, uh, they're at 13.5. So obviously higher than what they were expecting here. Infrastructure capacity, 512 uh, megawatts and then blockchain infrastructure patent 71. So they're obviously patent patenting the heck out of everything it looks like uh, which might be a concern going forward because they could start going after some of the other miners for patent infringement or whatever so that's one concern that i have there uh, revenue they're looking to be at 1.1 billion revenue for 2022 and then their adjusted ebitda is at 572 which is an, definitely an a huge increase, double what they are basically with this year projecting to be at. And then self-mining hash rate, they want to get to 13 point, well, roughly 15. They're saying 15 extra hash year and 2022 projections. And Mara is saying that they're going to be at 23.3 or 22.3, something like that. So they're obviously going to be behind Mara at the end of the year. Right now, they are way ahead of uh, Mara. Uh, let's see here. Strong visibility announced infrastructure 133 megawatts to achieve 2022 projections so they want to be at basically 1031 megawatts year end 2022 projections so a lot of power q a summary closings why choose scientific thank you that's it all right let's take a look at some of their patents here oh we got some numbers here adjusted a bit of reconcil reconciliation so this is ended year ended december 31 oh, okay so these are the latest numbers we have for them um, adjusted EBITDA is 6,050, and these are in thousands, so 6 million, it looks like. Let's take a look at their patents really quick here. So they, on this page, I'm seeing 37 patents. Uh, let me see if we can go to page one here. They have a lot of patents that are pretty much the same thing. System and method for cooling computing devices, um, computing system and method, measuring airflow in computing devices, dynamic aisles for computing devices. Application mapping to system resources for instance creation, a system and method for visually managing computer, computing devices in a data center. Um, a lot of this stuff seems um, pretty generic in my view. System method for identifying computing devices in a data center. I mean, a system and method for identifying computing devices in a data center. Uh, how hard can this really be? Um, I know they have a lot of machines, obviously, but you got two rows basically. You got two rows. You got the hot aisle in, the, in between, right? So you got the two rows, aisle A, aisle B, and then you just number the, uh, basically, the shelves, A, B, A through Z, if you got that many, and then number it going long ways from 0 to 100 or whatever you got. And that's how you figure out where the miners are at. You can also do that with, <coughs> excuse me, within the miners themselves as far as giving them an ID. So you give them the aisle ID A, uh, and the shelf ID, whether it's B, C, D, A, whatever it is. So it's A, A, and then 57, you know, it's going to be aisle, you know, aisle A, top row A, and then 57 minor, basically. Pretty easy to do. I don't know why they had to do a patent on that, uh, but that's just my take on it. Well, let's see what else they got here. Efficient computing in vehicles. A system and method for efficient, e.g. economical computing in hybrid 
plug-in hybrid electrical vehicles is disclosed. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Are they actually trying to figure out a way to put miners in? Oh, that wasn't popping up. Why isn't that one popping up? So we can't get that one. So interesting stuff. They're obviously doing some weird things here. We're trying to plug in uh, AC miners into the electric vehicles here, it looks like, but I can't get it to pop up. Let's try it once more. Yeah, it's not popping up. Uh, but that's just what I'm thinking here. Uh, dynamic aisles for computing devices, measuring airflow for computing devices, computing system translation to promote efficiency, uh, harvesting remnant cycles in smart devices, system and method for cooling computing devices within a facility. Um, you know, just kind of generic things. Um, so obviously things that are tailored to them that makes it appropriate for them to try to protect their IP at least the way they see it. Um, like I said, one of my concerns is if they become a patent troll. All right, so they're going to patent the heck out of everything, and then they're going to go to the other miners uh, in that. So that's my concern there. Um, but otherwise, huge numbers. We'll see where they actually end up at. Uh, right now, it looks like 2022, they're going to be, at the end of 2022, they're going to be smaller than Mara. Mara is going to be at 22.3, something like that. They're going to be only at 15 exahash based on what they just provided in the numbers here. Um, but yeah, obviously, they're going to be one of the big boys in the, in the field, especially since they're doing a lot of hosting as well. So that's just I want to bring this to you guys' attention. Let me know if you guys are interested in this one or not. Um, and then we'll see if we can get some data on them going forward, maybe in the following, maybe this quarter or next quarter, we'll get some actual information from them as far as what they have, as far as miners, uh, how many miners they have, the hash rate of each miner, or uh, ballpark at least. And we can do some numbers on them for that. All right, so that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.